if I yeah, get a little on. interview. So this is um Nicola from CT1 at the Painting and Decorating Show. So I'm Nicola Walsh from CT1. I'm um, Head of Marketing and Brand Protection. Um, CT1, as you know, is the number one um, the number one sealant and adhesive in snag the UK. Snag list eliminate, eliminate We are now. the snag list eliminator. And why do we snag the lists? Is because if you use CT1 first time, you don't have to go back and do the snag. That's a very that, that makes sense. It's logic, isn't it? It does make sense. People have to I agree with logic. I thought it was the other way around that it eliminates all the things on your snag list, not that it completely eliminates the snag list itself. Oh yeah, eliminates thought, the snag list eliminator. Yeah. You don't have a snag list eliminator. Yeah. Anymore. See, I thought it was the other way around. I thought it yeah. helped you get through all How the stuff not on get the snag that? list. Well, we're decorators. We're a bit <laughs> we're not stupid. Yeah. If we were any smarter, we wouldn't be decorators. You're a clever bunch of Italians. There's no feeling you. Um. Right, so what are you here showing off? What are you okay, so Peeltech. We developed Peeltech a few years ago. So Peeltech is the latest technology in paint removal. Uh, a few years ago, um, the EU banned methyl chloride. And methyl yep. chloride is that really aggressive component. The stuff just smells in, good. Smells good, makes you high, but it's not great for your skin, no. your eyes, or the base material it's working on. So methyl chloride was the aggressive component in nitromores. Yeah. But it's made nitromores pretty much ineffective. Yeah. So the industry was really lacking a good replacement. Mm -hmm. CT1 always lead the way in research and development. We said, like, hey, these painted decorators really need a helping hand here. Yeah. So we took a few years um, to develop Peeltech. And so Peeltech removes all paints, all coatings, all lacquer yeah. within minutes. Oh, I mean, I've seen it take ink off of paper. Ink off paper without burning the paper. Without, How yeah, does without, that happen? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think we've got like Harry Potter secretly working for us because yeah. it is wizardry shit. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> um, so yeah, you're trying to the, the peel tech, which is really good stuff. And we've been looking for. You always say, "Oh, I'm looking for something that's near Nitro Moors used to be." Yeah. So you always said it. Exactly, something yeah. that something that's like what my Nitro Moors used to be. And you know, we've really stolen the show, which is great. So we've caught the attention of the big boys like Crown. So Crown to come over. We've signed pretty much a deal. It's going to be in Crown Decorating Centres. It's in Lovely. a lot of brewers at the moment. Yeah, I see it in brewers. Because there's no other um, product out there like it. Yeah, nothing so that what, takes it out that good. No, and um, what they're going to do is obviously take CT1 as well, because CT1 is a great filler and adhesive. So, and Multisolve, our other sister product, is a yeah. good solvent and cleaner. So the strap line's going to be clean, peel, seal. No, that's good. I like that. You like it? Would yeah. you buy it? Of course, you. I buy would it. buy it definitely. Um, yeah. So, you, like, like you said, you can find your products in brewers and in brewers. Not all brewers. Most brewers. Um, it's going to be in most kinds. So, like, any new product needs a good push yeah. at the beginning. You have to educate people, and this show has been yeah. awesome for but educating I've people. I've seen you. Um, and where can you get it online? Okay, so um, CT One have just opened up their official online stockers. But we, um, there's an online shop, CT1 online shop, but it's not from us, but it's from our top stockists. Okay. So we don't take the money for it, we direct it to our top stockists. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And with that peel stop as well, what peel stop? What is it? Peel tech? Pe peel tech. Peel tech. You sprayed it on your hand. I sprayed it on my hand and I still that have was hands. A, that was the most crazy thing. Yeah, because, yeah. You know, even if you use brick acid or something like that, I know it's it not burns a pastry, your hands, it burns your, hands, your clothes, you can smell it, burns your eyes. eyes, yeah. But that stuff sprays straight on your hand and you wipe it no off problem. and good to go. So you can even put it on things like windows, glass, it's not going to damage. Lovely. Yeah. All right, well, yeah, thank you very much for a little Thank chat. you. Thanks, Cheers. guys. Bye. Oh, yeah, we both started talking at the same <laughs> time there and just looked at each other. Both um, take a deep breath. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's actually really good stuff, we isn't actually, it? And we actually tried it probably. I mean, on their stand, they had a bit. Yeah, so but you always you'd, a little yeah. bit like that paint's been sat there for yeah, like the last day. Exactly. It's probably not fully cured. Yeah, yeah. so we actually took it. Uh, we used it Thursday, didn't we? Yeah, to get some really nasty blue paint off of a rad. Yeah, and I tell you what, it's yeah. amazing. It is really good stuff. It's yeah, it's actually like, really good. Like, even the builder, when we were there, yeah, he said, "Bloody hell!" He said that, and yeah, it does. It, and we, you put it on a bit of old skirt. Yeah, as we had well. a bit of old skirt. And the good so thing is, oil base. Yeah, and the good thing is, when you know when you use nitromorphs or anything those of those sort of strippers, it always seems to soak the timber as well. Yeah, but with this. Um, aerosol when you spray it on it comes in a can when you spray it on it just doesn't seem to soak into the um, yeah. into the tip does it, it no. It's you can get on it straight away it leaves it quite dry but yeah, yeah. and it, yeah it's really good stuff so she was there on the stand just spraying it onto her hand and I'd done the same thing at work yeah. sprayed a good bit onto my hand like smushed it about nothing yeah. there was no 
It, it doesn't it, catch your, doesn't get in your eyes, doesn't get up your nose. It's, yeah, it's actually, I think probably one of the most effective. Well, even, even so, I didn't obviously use old nitro mores. Oh, no, but but yeah. is that is yeah. it as good? I'd just say, as good, I'd say, better? I don't think to be honest, anything can be old style nitro mores. But that is uh, the closest fair, I've it's come the to. Sort of thing of like, oh yeah, nothing used to be old lead based paint. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> times yeah. have moved on. You yeah. can't use it anymore. No. But, but this is the best. Like thing. I say, we've 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 used all sorts of paints. We yeah. use that pamp, for haven't we? We yeah. we we inv- uh, we what did we get? We bought some off of the internet in the end, didn't yeah. we? It was really it was, good stuff. Yeah. But. Like I say, this is the stuff that's you know. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm a, yeah, I'm blown there's away no, by there's it. No question about it now. If we have any paint stripper, you can just go into brewers and get it. It's not. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know Kane Adams stock it. Yeah. But like I say, we yeah we had a can of it and it's brilliant. It yeah, just, it is really yeah. good stuff. Comes off super easy as well. And that was the thing. So she had, they had like um, it was called almost like a business card a letterhead, sort of paper. It? Yeah, and they had the CC1 letterhead on there, and she just sprayed a bit on there, and then just wiped it off with a rag, and it didn't take, didn't pull the paper apart, but it just yeah. wore the ink away. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's just of... it's mad. I don't know how it can specifically target just the pigment. And that's what I'm saying. It does else. that with the with the timber. It doesn't actually soak into the timber. It sort of seems yeah. to. I don't know. I don't know. How it does it. I've, but yeah. I've not yet come across an opportunity to use the uh, adhesive snag list eliminator. No, we... Yeah, but I think that, yeah, because I don't know what that specific product. I've always just called it CT One because that's yeah. written on the thing. But yeah. that's the name of the firm. So, but whatever their uh, snag list eliminator is, I'm not yet had a chance to use it. But if it's anything like the multi solve, which I got some stickers off with, and that um, peel tech, I yeah. keep calling it peel stop, but that's no. a Zinza thing. Peel tech, but peel tech, peel yeah. tech is that's yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah, it's it's, it's really one of those good. products, and it you... takes off a couple of layers at a time as yeah. well, doesn't it? Yeah. I wonder what it'd be like if you sprayed it up on something and then covered it in um, cling, film. cling film. Yeah, I wonder if that might work. Just to see if that... you know, We want something challenging. If anyone's got an old bit of timber that's got about 80 layers of bloody paint on it, send it to us. Yeah, we'll have a go. We'll have yeah. a go. But yeah, it's one of those things. Just put it in your van. Yeah, you've got it. it's only a little tin. And yeah. It'll sit up in the back. It'll get yeah. beaten about. But when you need it, it'll, it'll be, be there. there. Yeah. And it will do the job. And that's what, that's what you need. That's what we've always said, is that a product that's just reliable and... Yeah. Does the job exactly it needs to work? Yeah, when every you need time to work, yeah, and do what it says. Yeah, and you need to better rely on it and know what yeah. it does. You don't, you don't but, want to go out to the van, get it, and then it not work on this type of paint or that type yeah. of paint. But this thing took off everything. Yeah, it's it spot uh, on. Yeah, amazing. So anyway, after we spoke to 